Hello, this is Sean Kelly at the TIFF World Premiere of American Fiction. Okay, so um, the, the uh, film is based on a novel called Erasure, so what inspired you to adapt the novel? Uh, when I read Erasure, it was, I don't know if you've ever had this experience, but, but when I read Erasure, it felt like somebody had written me a, a personal gift. Uh, I read the book and just, it felt so similar to my uh, life and sort of, it was having conversations that I was having with my friends for years and years and years. And, uh, you know, some of the family dynamics were very similar to my own family dynamics. There's an ailing mother and uh, I moved home to sort of be with my mother when uh, she came, she became very sick with cancer. Uh, so there was just a bunch of stuff in the in the book, in the novel that reminded me of my own life. And so uh, by the time that I was 20 pages into it, I knew that I wanted to adapt it. By the time that I was done with the book, uh, I knew that I wanted to direct the adaptation. I started reading the book in Jeffrey Wright's voice almost because he was the he was the first person that I wanted to go to. I just saw it so clearly. Um, and yeah, it just felt like exactly the right thing to to try to take on to be to be a director for the first time. So I just fell in love with it. Yeah, so how, how did you set about um, dividing the um, satire and the drama of the story? It's interesting. I, you know, I never thought uh, I never thought about dividing them or, or giving one more space than the other. To me, the I mean, the, the thing about life is that even in the worst of times, there are still things that make you laugh and there's still there's still opportunities to smile. And there's still, you know, you still might fall in love during the sort of worst month of your life. Right. I think that to me, uh, the idea of having comedy without drama or vice versa is just doesn't feel it doesn't feel authentic to my to my experience and it's not it's not the kind of stuff that I want to make you know I'm more than I understand very dark dramas and I really love some of those and I, and I love like slapsticky super funny comedies I think that they're great it's just not um, for me when I sit down to write I just feel like I can't do one or the other I sort of need to meld them together so it was never uh, it was never a debate about how necessarily to to separate them in the story. It just, to me, it just goes hand in hand because it's natural and authentic to the real human experience. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thanks.